Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be talking a little bit about my experience with Bellafill and then just an update on my niacid that I've been using. So the niacid, I've been using this, or well, one of these bottles lasted two months, so this is my second bottle. And like I said before, if you haven't watched the video before, I did a review on it. And again, the main thing with this is I noticed that um, it did help a lot with my like pigmentation especially on my neck so again I've been using this for about two months and I know I did see a little bit of results but I know my scars are very like pretty bad or pretty deep so you can't really see too much so when it comes to the Bellafil it it's pretty expensive it really is but it's one of those things where it's like uh, more of an investment so Bellafil does last, uh, I think, about five years. It's like another alternative to Juvederm, which is like another type of filler that, that gets injected into your skin. So Bellafil, again, it is expensive. It cost me about, I think, like, I want to say 2500 for like th like three syringes, but... I know I, and I know it does seem like a lot of money but when you think about it I kind of did the math in a way so it's it lasts about five years it cost me about 2500 so that was about five hundred dollars a year ish give or take if you do if you think about it like that but yeah you do have to save a bit amount of money to get get it done so I'm gonna be posting a few before and after pictures right now I think I did see a good amount of results when it comes to the, these before and after pictures after the Bellafil. The only thing is that with the camera quality, of course, your skin always looks a lot rougher. So I saw a lot of more improvement, especially on this uh, last picture. But in person, it actually looks, or at least I feel it looks a lot better than in the pictures. So again, F, so whenever I got my injections, the Bellafil. The first that you, of course, you gotta get your your face numbed up first because they inject a bunch of stuff in there. So the day of after, um, I, my face ended up getting like swollen a little bit because of all that stuff they were injecting in it. Of course, a little tiny bit of bruising, and then the swelling only lasted maybe like one or two days, but instantly, instantly could see like results. Of course, because your uh, skin is so swollen, so. And then today is, I think it's been, a, it's been about a week since I got them. And again, I'm pretty satisfied with all the results. And I honestly don't really regret regret it because I do. It does make me feel a little bit better when it comes to like my acne scars. And I know I wasn't expecting my skin to be like porcelain or super nice because of how deep and bad my scars are. Scars are but I did see... A good amount of um, improvement when it comes to my scars but again this is still my first bottle of a uh, hyaluid so I'm still with my little skin cure routine with my ordinary peel as well so I just do the peel maybe like two maybe three times a week and then after that of course my niacid and then this so of course, whenever I go out into the sun, I always use some sunscreen. But yeah, that's really it. When it comes to Bellafil, just you gotta save up if you if something you really want. And again, the results are instantaneously, and there's not like a lot of uh, recovery time when it, compared to like the microneedling or any type of lasers. It's just you're in there and you're out. All the only thing is just that your face gets a little bit swollen. That's really it. But I'm about to go into my bathroom right now so you guys could see a little bit of like the light that goes at least I think you can see better the scars when there's like light above on top of you so as you could tell I personally do think the scars are a bit better but since my scars were really bad from the beginning it was 
hard to get to like super super perfect like porcelain skin but other than that I actually would recommend getting the Bellafil. It does help a lot. Or it does make me feel better at least. So if you have any questions, you could always just comment down below and ask. And then if you I'll probably do another update when it comes to the Niacid whenever I finish that bottle. Maybe another three or four month update for the Niacid. But again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. It does help a lot and thank you for supporting.